In recent years, Somalia has increasingly become a food deficit country. The Horn of Africa nation suffered one of the worst famines in the early 1990s, killing thousands. Since then, two decades of conflict have created a situation of protracted and complex humanitarian emergency, which has eroded livelihoods and led to increased vulnerability to food insecurity. In 2008, the rise in global food prices, inadequate rainfall, and population displacement due to civil conflict greatly deteriorated Somalia's food security situation. Somalia is a very peculiar country. Um, it's a country where it has an incredible strong trading capacity. People are doing business all across uh, the country. And that's clearly create uh, a very competitive environment. It creates the opportunity for this trader to import food even in a country which traditionally is in a food deficit, which are positive side of the story. Unfortunately, when situation happens to be like in the case of 2008, where the food price increase all around the world, that creates conditions for which the transmission of this increase of food price will get immediately trans transmitted to countries like Somalia. In swift response to the global food crisis, the European Union announced a 1 billion euro food facility to boost agricultural productivity in 28 countries. In Somalia, the United Nations Food Agricultural Organization was to support 70,000 farmers, especially in the South Central agricultural regions. The European Union has been at the forefront of the food crisis response to help bridge the gap between the short-term emergency relief and longer-term development support. In 2009, FAO began carrying out projects worth 228 million euros, approximately 340 million US dollars in 28 countries in Africa, Asia, Latin America and the Caribbean through the EU food facility. Somalia is largely a semi-arid country and farmers traditionally rely on rainfall and irrigation from tapping seasonal rivers for subsistence food production. They survive from one harvest to another increasing their vulnerability to erratic, unpredictable weather and other external factors. Adan wara binna. Laag fi alban kahela ina adan wara bsema. Laag fi alban kahela ina anu guna shagala ina wah faida kahela ina. Wara bin tibir tuwa bin fiyata. Merka ina la wara biyo malan na guna ka faida isin ina. In Somalia, the Food Agricultural Organization helped rehabilitate 985 kilometers of irrigation canals to guarantee access to much needed water for cultivation through cash for work employing 2,800 people. Farmers also received improved and drought tolerant seeds as well as training on marketing the surplus harvest. In a move to mechanize Somalia's agriculture, farmers, most of whom still relied on traditional practices, were given access to 20 tractors and received training on the farm.
the construction of 15 markets and rehabilitation of 450 kilometers of road in Juba and Shabela regions greatly facilitated marketing and trade of surplus agricultural products. The outcome of the project is an expansion in the planted area, which uh, is now uh, estimated uh, around uh, 46,000 uh, hectares due to the rehabilitation of uh, over uh, 75 uh, kilometers of main canals and over 900 uh, kilometers of secondary and tertiary uh, canals. It may be too early to assess the actual impact of the project, but this uh, package of assistance for sure um, will uh, contribute a lot to boosting uh, production. For Hussein, a cereal farmer in Somalia's Aldal region, access to a tractor to till his land greatly reduces time and energy in preparing the land for planting. <laughs> Under the EU Food Facility Program, FAO targeted 60,000 people, but the two-year project reached 118,000 farmers and increased food supply in south-central Somalia. Though challenges to food security remain daunting, FAO believes that continued support to farmers through short-term interventions with long-term goals will go a long way to improving livelihoods in the Horn of Africa nation. The food facility was an incredibly courageous and brave initiative of the European Union just at the back of a crisis where nobody had really great idea or clear idea on how to handle it. If you look at the current crisis in 2011 that we are seeing experiencing right now, Africa is the continent with the lowest increase in food prices, although they're already very high, just because of the increase in production. And Somalia was benefiting probably more than the others. We had an incredible capacity through the food facility to increase the productive capacity of the country and to have, when the rain allowed us, like the last blue season in 2010, to have an incredible better production compared to previous years with the same type of uh, rainy season, which clearly proved that investing in agriculture pays back. The result of it is, uh, is probably the most interesting and we will surprise ourselves of uh, how much uh, we were able to improve uh, with this project because uh, well, uh, the production in 2009, if I'm not wrong, was uh, one of the best in the 15 years of uh, Somalia. Uh, that means not only that the capacity is there, but it, it can very, a project like this one can easily uh, help this capacity come to very good, good production. And this is why uh, we are really uh, convinced that the second phase is necessary and also is a good investment for, for the European Union. It's money well spent because uh, the idea is to stop with uh, food distribution and to help Somali to eat their own food produced in Somalia more and more. Did it, did it. <laughs>